fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, we are getting into a new band here, never before seen on the channel. I've never even heard of this band. This comes as a request from Deborah Carmona. Deborah wanted me to react to a band called Matamba. Never heard of them. Uh, their song... Sobre Natural. Again, I, <laughs> I've never heard of this. Um, I really don't know anything about them. From what I understand from her comments, if I remember correctly, this is a band from South America. So, you know, little international flavor, as I like to say. Sure, why not? We could do that. So... Let's get into this. This was posted by Matamba Official, and this video has, wow, okay. Uh, this video has 899,586 views. So it'll get you there. That's a high number for a band I've never heard of before. Uh, other than that, I really don't have much else to say. Let's get into this. Link to the original video will be down in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Other than that, let's let's do this. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Batamba with Sobrenatural. Hold on, pronouncing that right? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Ooh, that drummer. Cansado estoy de ver cómo este mundo se ha olvidado de Dios y avanza sin rumbo. Busco en plegarias poder escapar y me refugio en la luz de ya. That bass line, man, that is a tasty bass line. I like that. That instrumentation is big. There's a lot of people in this band. Let me back it up a little bit and see if I can find... Look at these guys. Okay, so here we go. One guitar. Two guitars. He has a guitar. So two guitars, bass, drums, vocals, horns, three horn players, and one of the horn players plays a keyboard, too. There's a lot going on here. That's kind of cool. Let's keep this going. Sin rumbo, busco en plegarias poder escapar Y me refugio en la luz de ya ¿A quién iré si no es a ti, Jehová? Que si no tú del mal me librará Ya sabo vuelo hacia la libertad I'm guessing inside that piñata there was i mean there was obviously dollar bills i mean hundreds of dollar bills coming out i'm guessing that white powder was uh i think we all know what that was don't we i don't think i need to say it do i i don't like it my is this song about drug addiction or about selling drugs or being addicted to drugs or i don't know i don't know let's keep going <laughs> Ah. High heels scare the pants off of me. I I said it before and I'll say it again. 
Women should not have to wear high heels. Number one, they're uncomfortable for them. Number two, they're a danger for us. I think we just saw that. Just a little prick. This video is weird. I, I feel like it's conveying a message. Like, is this like, is there like a parallel between this and like Dante's Inferno? Like the farther he goes in, the worse the sins get. I'm wondering that might be the message of the video. I'm just thinking ahead like a pre, 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 preview. Huh. Dante's Inferno is one of my favorite reads. I love that book. Loved the book. I loved the video game. Oh, God, I wish they would have translated that from the PS3 to PS4. That was a great game. Anyway, let's keep going. Vanity. Okay, I greed, greed possibly. I'm getting the feeling this is like a journey. I, I'm really starting to feel like this is a journey down into uh, Dante's Inferno. Like the, he's the the guy that we saw at the beginning. He's traveling down, 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 spiraling further and further, further down. We've seen wrath. We've seen um, vanity slash envy. We've seen greed. We haven't seen lust yet, and we haven't seen uh, heresy yet. Um, heresy is the last circle, though. So, uh, lust is usually the first circle. Did we? I mean, maybe they just bypass that entirely. I'm not sure, but lust is usually the well. No, the first circle is purgatory or limbo. Limbo is the first circle. From limbo, you go down into lust. So. Huh, we passed that, and then we go down to, after lust is, not greed, um, is it envy? I think it's envy at the second circle. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. 
Not quite sure what to make of that ending there. I, I, from a visual standpoint, I, that maybe he was reborn, cleansed of all his sins, and he was reborn. Is that what that was? Okay. Huh. Well, there you go, folks. That was Matamba with Sobrenatural. Uh, that was a request from Deborah Carmona. Thoughts? Okay, I'm going to do my best to keep the video out of this because I'm really supposed to be reacting to the music. I, I guess, I'm, to some respect, I'm supposed to be reacting to the video as well. But from a critique standpoint, I really should be focusing more on the music. So, I'm going to do my best to keep the video out of this critique, okay? Uh, from a musical standpoint, there's a lot going on there. Their style, just within that song, within that one song, we we saw three different styles of music in the one song. We had that heavy, 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 heavy grind uh, feel to it. We had a Latin feel to it, and we had a hip hop feel to it. There was a lot going on there. So it, it, it would constantly jump from one to the other. That's good and that's bad. It's good because it keeps the song interesting. It keeps the song moving. It keeps the song driving. It keeps the audience vested in the sound and no one's gonna get bored. It's bad because it can become a little distracting. It, it can take away from the overall theme of the song and the overall theme of the music. Uh, jumping around, you're never really able to dedicate a solid amount to a single style and give it its due, but I think for the purpose of the song, I think it was a good thing that it was jumping around like that. Musicianship. Uh, I didn't hear anything displeasing. I loved the bass riff. I'm sorry. that I mean, I, I know. Listen, I'm biased. I'll be the first to admit it. That's the truth. I loved that bass riff. I loved everything the bass player was doing. It looked like he was playing a six string too, which is what I play. I, I play a six string bass as well. So I love it when bass players play a six string and they utilize the entire bass, which is fun. He was playing with that pop and slap feel, but at the same time also strumming too. Uh, the drummer was playing so tastefully. Oh my goodness, that drummer was really, really playing well. Playing a feel uh, that fit the song at all times, no matter how stylistically it went. And he is the one responsible for changing up the style, let's be honest here. So he was able to change seamlessly from style to style to style and then back again, which was fantastic. Very well done, all without missing a beat or without rushing or dragging. I would be interested to hear him play that live and see if he could do the same thing. I'm sure he probably could, but I would love to see him do it live just to be sure. The guitar players were actually uh, kind of in the background on this. I mean, they had their moments where they would shine up at the front, but for the most part, they were kind of in the back. like. For the one of the few times I can remember on this channel, the bass player and the drums were at the forefront, which was nice. It was nice to have that little difference. Not to say that the guitar players weren't noticed, not to say that the guitar players weren't important. They added a lot of flavor and a lot of complexity and a lot of layers to the song. They just weren't the most important thing. They weren't front and center, which, like I said, for a change, it's kind of nice. Vocalist has got some talent. I mean, that guy can sing, he can grunt, he can screamo, he can rap, he, he can, he does it all. I mean, the guy was very versatile and we got to see a little bit of everything. So that was nice. His tone was a little, like the tone fit the song. It, it's kind of like the whole Anthony Kiedis thing. I don't know if I like his tone, but the guy is super talented. I mean, the guy could do, the guy could do it all. So, you know, but I'm not too thrilled with his tone. Uh, the other guys, the other three playing the horns, I never saw them play. I mean, I didn't hear any horns, and I never saw them play in the video, so why were they standing there with horns in their hands? I mean, I don't know. Maybe Are they even part of the band? I don't know. The keyboard I kind of heard, not a lot, but I, I heard it in parts. I heard it in areas, so... Kind of filled it out. Was it necessary? Nah, I wouldn't say necessary. But it was another layer, another layer of complexity. So the video, I'm not going to lie. I found that video entertaining. I, I get the feeling it was like a take on Dante's Inferno. We didn't hit all the sins, obviously. I never saw heresy. Um, 
Gluttony, I don't, I don't know if Gluttony was really represented either. Gluttony is, I thought, I remember, Gluttony is the third circle. Uh, I saw Violence. I saw Envy. I saw Pride. I saw Wrath. Um, never saw Lust. I don't think we saw Gluttony. The guy's crawling around in the mud. I don't know if that's Gluttony. It might, they could be representative of, of pigs rolling around in the mud. Gluttony, I, I guess... It's a bit of a stretch, but I, I guess we could see it. Greed was represented. I, I get the feeling that this was a tale, like a, a travel parallel to Dante's Inferno, into his own personal Inferno. So, that's cool. I mean, that that's always cool. I, I Like I said, I, Dante's Inferno is one of my favorite reads of all time. I got some weird favorite reads. I do. People look at me. My, I tell them my favorite books. Like I loved, my, my favorite book is The Odyssey followed with a very close second with the Iliad. And then uh, Dante's Inferno, third place. I, I know I got some weird taste in books, but those are my favorite books I've ever read. I love them. Let's see. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would I score this? I'll give this an... Uh, I'll give this an 8.5. Three. Yeah. No. 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 I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it an eight point two. Yeah. Eight point two. I'll feel I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. It was great, okay? It was not mind blowing, it was not phenomenal, it was not amazing, it was not awesome. It was great, okay? Even saying it was great, I wouldn't say is a stretch, but it barely made great. How about that? Okay, it, it was it, it was it was fun to watch. It was fun to listen to. Would I put this on my playlist? Probably not. I don't see this ending up on my playlist. But it was a fun song. It was a, it was a good energy song. I wish I knew what the guy was saying. But you know, having the having the Latin language and having that South American uh, Portuguese language or whatever was that Portuguese or was that I don't know what that was, but wasn't English. Uh, so I couldn't understand what he was saying. It made it kind of hard. If that had been in English, though, I wondered if the song might have lost something. Like, going back to Rammstein, for example. Rammstein, I've heard certain songs. I've heard Angel and I've heard Du Hast in English. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like them in English. It loses something. It loses a lot of something in translation. It has to be in German. Even though I have no idea what is being said, it has to be in German. I feel like the same thing applies here. If they were to take that song and translate it to English, would I be able to understand what's being said? Yes, but at the expense of losing out on a lot of feel and a lot of emotion for the song. So, as much as I want to know what he's singing and I want to understand what he's saying, I think it's better to just leave it alone. I think it's better to leave, you know, let leave sleeping dogs lie or leave laying dogs lie or whatever however that saying goes i don't know but yeah i think we better leave that alone uh so 8.2 i feel is a good score so 8.2 final score i have spoken well that does it for this edition of reactions reviews and rants hopefully you all enjoyed the show hopefully i was able to entertain you if i was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day then i did my job and i'm so glad i could do it if you did enjoy the video and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. You know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like joining the fan base, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you do join the fan base, there is a bell you can click on. By clicking on this bell, it will keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's it for now, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.